Good morning, and welcome to my study. It's patch note day. We got a lot of patch notes here. I'm gonna go through them. I was gonna do this live, but I decided to just make a video because uh, I'm waiting for a phone call from my, I got a gas leak on my stove and they're gonna call me and tell me when they're gonna be. So I might get interrupted. So if I get interrupted and it cuts weird, I'm probably dealing with my gas leak. Let's talk about this. Um, they got eight pages of these things. The first one is like general stuff general adjustments. I'm not used to having to read with this microphone in my face. So they're reiterating what they've been saying this whole time. There's three problems that they have with the game. Characters that are not able to fully exhibit their unique characteristics, which include Kazuya, Paul, and Raven, which is a terrifying list to me. Uh, characters with disproportionately strong moves or high combo damage. Um, so I'm a little... A little nervous about some of my character's strong moves, but we'll see how that goes. And then situations where one player dominates the attack. I don't really know what that means. Like, they're saying you can't use defensive techniques. So I get... And I think what they're saying is there's a lot of situations where you can't sidestep out of, like minus frames or or to do anything in some cases other than like guess so maybe i'm out of a, in like a vacuum these sound like good changes to me so we'll see what this does they mentioned the characters they're looking at and uh they said they're gonna update characters who were nerfed before like june they specifically said they're gonna buff june sorry all you june haters um recalibrating of damage scaling on heat dash throws and stage gimmicks we'll look at that in a second and also, the wall stagger effect caused by heat dash is gone. So heat dash is going to be the same at the wall as it is in the open when you cancel on block. Which is probably fine. Uh, you're at the wall anyway. It's not like they're going to have... Just because they're only minus 5 instead of like minus 17, you're still at the wall you still have control on offense. I think it was probably excessive to do that anyway. So, also they're saying, hey, we're not going to do a bigger, a big pal balance patch until after season, uh, this season's over. Meaning, I'm, I'm guessing they mean this, this season of the Tekken World Tour. So this is it. This is what we're playing for the rest of the Tekken World Tour. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Move list, text changes. They've added the strong parry and strong reversal uh, connotation for parries that work on uh, weapons and elbows and stuff. So that's, I guess, a good distinction because that it's they keep adding more and more parries that can parry things that you normally can't parry. So now we have two types of parries officially. Yay. Uh, the reversal break effect. Um, so this is weird. This is just a little um, special animation for things that can't be parried when they hit you when you try to parry them. So we'll see what that looks like when we get the, the actual update. Uh, I don't really understand the stage breakable thing. Choosing a specific recovery action did not transition to a down state. And then you could... There had to be some sort of weird, like, you back-rolled and then you got wall-gimmicked while back-rolling. That's got to be what it is. I think I've actually seen that happen now that I think about it. I'm pretty sure I have. I'm just going to turn up my voice slightly here. I got the music baked in on this video because... I would go crazy doing this without any music. In fact, we should probably make sure we're doing Tekken music so that we don't get copyrighted. Oh yeah, I haven't listened to this one forever. Not since they put it back on Spotify. 
Alright, so... That's, that's what I'm thinking on with that, is this a weird glitch thing. Floor breakables, um, certain situations, side throws and other things weren't doing floor breaks when they were supposed to. Uh, the amount of recoverable health that you lose when you hit a destruction, a stage destruction is lowered. Um, the wall explosion damage has been lowered because the wall explosions actually do damage and they've also increased the scaling on uh, all of these. So yeah, wall, wall gimmicks, stage gimmicks were very, very terrifying in this game. So I think they can be reduced. That's fine. It'll make the game less volatile, which is probably good. Uh, standardizing the amount of recoverable gauge restored. I didn't know it wasn't standardized, so that just seems weird. I guess that's a nerf if you had one that was non-standard that gave you more health, but that's weird. All right, heat burst. Reduce the tracking. Yes, thank you. Let us sidestep it, please. Uh, heat burst was just so crazy. They've also removed the reversal break attribute, which I didn't even know it had. I just never even bothered to try to parry one of these things because I, it just felt like you wouldn't work anyway. And then with the screen freeze, like it's really odd to try to parry it. But it no longer reversal breaks, which means you can also power crush it, uh, which is nice. It doesn't just beat all other power crushers outright anymore. Um, you can no longer kill with it, which is a very interesting change. I, I use Heat Burst as a round under all the time, because it's just like, if you have a life lead, and you just need that one more hit, it's like, well, what are you going to do? I'll just dash up and Heat Burst you. Like, they, you had no counterplay to that. <laughs> you can't step it. You, the range made it so that the things you'd normally do to beat a power crush wouldn't work there. So very strong. So I guess that it can't kill is probably good. And also the distance on block and hit is reduced, which means you can use it, you can pressure after it more. Now, the way it was, like it pushed back so far, you basically didn't even want to go in after it. You just wanted to do it and go back to neutral. So it was a much more of a defensive tool. We'll see if we can, uh, you know, use heat burst for pressure now. Let's see, heat dash, we talked about that. No longer uh, does the uh, wall crush effect. Uh, and also, when you activate heat dash, you recover some health. So, recovering health is cool. Some heat engagers only allow, I, I don't, So I think it's like saying that the heat engagers that don't launch. Like, because like Zafina down for 4-1, it does not launch if you heat dash cancel. You only get a stomp after. So they're saying, well, you can tech roll here. So some follow-up attacks are not going to work anymore. I don't know why they changed this, because you weren't getting a combo anyway. Unless some of these characters were getting combos and they weren't supposed to. Or they were just getting more than they were supposed to get. That that had to be it. Uh, I'm, I don't play any of these other characters, so I don't know. But it, only a handful of characters seem to be affected by it. Uh... No more side switching during heat engaging. I'll believe that when I see it. But at least they're trying. Uh, throws. This is a big one. So n now only normal throws are homing. So command throws don't track anymore with the exception of the ones on this list. And the ones on this list include a bunch of king's throws. So king is notably not on this list is giant swing so king players are going to have to use the homing throws as the tracking options so i i don't know it's a very big change um it 
it does feel like kind of a half measure because normal throws are still going to be homing. So now you're just going to do normal throws more often. If you just if you're a character that just has like generics and one plus twos, um, you'll just do normal throws a little more often. It definitely is a nerf for like characters who have all three throw breaks though. That's definitely going to hurt like, you know, Dragonov and Paul. Although Paul his one throw is still his or his two throw is still homing. They gave him that. Um Reyna's unbreakable throws are still homing. It's kind of interesting, but we'll see. We'll see how that does it. Um I mean, we still have homing throws, so it feels like kind of a half measure, but it also does seem like it affects a lot of characters so it's it's a little weird it's a little weird i don't know all right and then um i don't know even i do not know what the reversal of reversals mechanic is um but apparently they removed it the only what 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 happened, what happened is now you can't parry airborne attacks except you could parry a bunch of different airborne attacks like neutral hop kicks were parryable still um and so they went through and they tried to make all the uh airborne attacks that you couldn't parry or that you could parry not parryable notably uh raven down back three here is unparryable now it's his jumping low uh so that move gets a lot better because of that because it's it's seeable So, the some basic stuff. Alright, let's get into the characters. Alyssa. Um, I like that they give us this balance direction now. Uh, so, only fixes for unstable areas and uh, changes related to the overall suppression of the performance of high power crushes. So, they're not really nerfing Alyssa. I don't like that at all. <laughs> but okay uh, that means Alyssa is a really good character to learn right now because she's not going to get substantially nerfed until next year at least so it'd be a good time to learn her she's good so her uh, mid power crush or no her throw that's her throw not her mid power crush anymore uh, the hitbox has been expanded to alleviate issue of whiffing at close range okay that was just like a weird glitch um, four, two, one was nerfed. Uh, the attack animation has been adjusted, reduced by one frame, changing the startup to twenty-four. That seems like a buff, alleviating situation where the opponent can't punish. So yeah, they're making this unsafe move more consistently able to be punished. Okay, got you. And now we got the the punch, the power, the high power crush punch. Reduce the recovery time. So it's minus nine. Not You can't jab punish it. I don't like that. I wanted these to be jab punishable. Uh, the attack duration has been reduced by four frames. Uh, she goes airborne during this, but that's been made less airborne frames. So probably so you can still hit her with lows. And reduce the damage. Minus 9. Are these going to be universally minus 9 now? And just like slower? I... Man, I really wish these were punishable. <laughs> I really wish that you could punish them on block. But we'll see how it goes. Oscar! Uh, so she's got some changes to further differentiate her from June. Uh, enhance major moves such as Naniwa Gusto and Destabilizer. Oh, that was the focus in 1.04. So she wants to be able to more easily uh, incorporate mix ups from moves like One Jab and 442. And Forward 2 has been changed. Oh, it gives her Naniwa Gusto now. So she gets a combo and Naniwa Gusto for landing forward too. That's cool. 
They did not get rid of her chargeable rage art. I hate that thing. Alright, uh, it seems like we're just going to live with that. Just like we had to live with Paul's stupid chargeable rage art in Tekken 7. Or his cancelable rage art, rather. Um, she can delay the kick on these strings. One... One, two, three. That's a pretty good one to be able to delay the kick on. Uh, I'm guessing the forward two, three is so that she can combo after getting the non -Well gusto. And then she has the bat, two, one, three. Okay, so same. They didn't say... Oh, it's forward one, three, not forward two, three. Yeah, okay. So forward one, three. So all of the... She can just delay the one, two, three now. That's good. That actually helps her. Um, forward three, hold. Oh, okay. Um, they fixed the hitbox on it. So this is the forward two. And the back three, two. And the forward two... During hit two command would be used to gain out Augusta as a combo finisher to add more tactical variety while allowing aerial combos. You can do this as a combo starter. So she can get Naniwa Gusto off a of forward two and still do a combo. Okay, cool. Forward forward two. Uh, recover time reduced by four frames, resulting in changes from the frame advantage from minus nine. To minus 12? That's a nerf, isn't it? Wait, am I seeing am I reading this wrong? Did they write this wrong? Cause Oh, it's more unsafe on block, but more plus on hit. That's what they're saying. That's fair, it's only plus one. And you can punish it now. That's very fair, very fair buff. Uh, 4 4 1 plus 2 triggers tornado on airborne hit. And you can now do it immediately after heat dash and heat activation. Okay. That was a glitch. While rising 2 1 plus 2. Whoops. Damage has been changed from 4 to 8. Sure. Azusena. Uh, she's probably going to get some buffs. I can already see the up arrows here. Because she got nerfed last patch. Alright, the variety of offensive options has been expanded by enabling transition, new stance transitions. Aerial combos lacked appeal and stability. Um, so her combo extenders have been uh, buffed. Uh, looks like the rage hitbox buff is universal, or at least it's on a number of characters. Second hit can now be delayed on 1-1. One, one. Uh, oh, she also gets follow-up attacks on counter. So they monitor a fish for counter hits with 1-1 one, one now. 4-1. Buffed damage. I don't like that. <laughs> Why are we buffing damage? 1 plus 2. Uh, nerf damage. I like that. Adjust the collision detection with the opponent to reduce the occurrence of whiffing. Okay. 4-1 plus 2. Same deal, it's minus 9. Tracking has been reduced. That's different. And the hitbox in the horizontal direction has been reduced. Interesting, so it doesn't have as much range. And it's got less distance on block. So if you, if you get this thing blocked now, if you get your high power crush blocked, you're eating a 50-50. There's nothing you can do. That's what it sounds like. Uh, you got the forward 3 plus 4 and back 3 plus 4. Oh, you can do her stance transitions from crouch now. Down forward 1, 4, back. Oh, you can go in a back turn off the jailing down forward 1, 4. Ew. Ew. I don't like this at all. I don't understand why we're buffing this character. I liked her bad. <laughs> I don't like this character at all. <laughs> Sorry, as you've seen the players. The following changes have been made to enhance stability. Okay, this is combo shit. 
The second hit of down for two can be transitioned into Liberador. That's fine. Three back three plus four recovery time reduced. Four four three plus four. You can get a free follow up if you knock him down. Up four four. No longer hits behind her. Okay. One two does chip damage on block. Three change opponent's behavior on aerial hit to strong aerial tailspin. Oh, that's back face three. So strong aerial tailspin is the thing that looks like a tailspin but doesn't eat your bound. Um, I, that's fine. I'd like to see more of those in the game. I, only a few characters have them. I feel like they should use that mechanic. Fix an issue where evasive actions against low attacks would occur in Liberator, even if the opponent was behind you. All right. The opponent's favorite on hit has been altered to reduce a wall stun. I don't like that at all, uh, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, three, two, upward, alleviating instances where it would miss. The opponent's behavior on normal hit has been changed to match that of counter hit. That's, that's fair. The recovery time on the first hit has been decreased by three frames. I don't... So it's been decreased. Does that change how plus she is? Or... How... It's only on hit. It doesn't say it changes anything on block. And it's for the first and second hits. I don't know what that does. Does that mean there's less of a gap? I don't know... Because that's a three-piece string from back turn, or from Liberator. Um, yeah, I would have to test that one. I don't know what that means. Back, back, and Liberator. Um, oh, you can do stuff faster. Okay. Previously executable with back, back, neutral. One. Now you have to hold the back to do it. I wonder why. Alright, it's not like they didn't give her like a ton of shit. They just gave her like some stuff. I don't like that she can go back turn off down for 1 4. That's toxic. Down for 1 4 is really annoying because it's a mid high off of down for 1 that jails. I really don't like it. Anyway, Brian, he's probably got a ton of buffs because Brian is one of those characters that does not mesh well with Tekken 8. So let's see. Reduced opportunities to initiate taunt due to the removal of wall stagger. The damage scaling for taunt has been removed. Okay, that's a buff. <laughs> that's a buff. Wow. Um yeah, cuz he gets he gets nerfed because of the heat dash nerf. So they're like, well, we'll just make it not scale. I, okay. Okay, Brian players. The hitbox has been expanded upward. Yeah, same deal. The damage of the first hit when throwing as a subsequent attack from taunt has been changed from 10 to 24. Interesting. Because he could do taunt heat smash. That's like that's gotta be really easy to do. I haven't actually tried to do that, but that's that's like as easy as doing taunt four three. Like that's that's good. Um, the opponent's behavior on counter hit has been changed to improve the stability of aerial combos. Damage scaling has been removed off taunt. That's quite a buff. We'll see how that shakes out. Uh, I mean, this is only gonna matter at high level because you gotta be able to do taunt back four, but taunt jet upper. Those are, mm. yeah. Brian's back on his bullshit here. Uh, he also gets the high power crush nerfs. Uh, this is down two and four 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 have expanded hitboxes. That's weird that this. Uh, that is, QCF 2-3 did not have a hitbox in the midline before. I guess, is the 3 a high? It might be a high. 
That might be why. Because I think he used to have the, the mid-mid punch, and I think they gave him a mid-high kick as like a combo thing. Anyway, he also has uh, Sway 4. Oh, they actually buffed Soccer Kick so that hit downed opponents. Uh, so if you're face down, Soccer Kick should connect that. Brian players have been asking for that buff since, like, Tekken 7 started. It's like a decade of asking for that buff. The main buff he got is the taunt scaling thing. Um, they, they said, all right, Brian players, you want, you want buffs? Go land taunt. All right. Claudio has got improvements to unstable areas and com expanding the variety of combos. Interesting. The behavior of the third hit of his, uh, what is that? 212. Allowing for further follow ups of Starburst Statue. Okay. Rage change, 212. Oh, he gets the strong aerial tailspin. Okay, got you. They're giving more, more characters the strong aerial tailspin. I approve of that. Cooler combos just makes the game more interesting all around. So I'm, f I'm in favor of that. Uh, down forward one, two. The tracking has been enhanced on the second hit when landing the... Okay, so you don't... If you land the first hit of your launcher, you, you actually get the launch. That's a glitch fix. Four, four, four. The distance from the opponent counter hit has been reduced. So that the intended follow-up does not whiff. That's a buff. Up forward four. Yeah, a lot of launchers did not give you very stable combos near the wall. They're fixing that with up forward four. Uh, crouching state. Expand the hurt box. His crouch was glitched. Okay, I didn't even know that. But apparently he could duck under mids before. So, <laughs> that's... <laughs> That was a Claudio, uh, a Claudio feature, no longer. All right, Devil Jin. Not really getting buffs, just getting stabilizing changes. But they're gonna nerf your Demon Paw because you guys weren't. This is your fault, Devil Jin players. You didn't use your other mids. You guys did not want to do instant while standing too. So now they nerfed your Demon Paw. I bet they nerfed everyone's demon paw. So, rage uh, change. His rage art changed the same. Uh, you got heat smash. Uh, made it more stable. So it doesn't, if, it, if it gets blocked, it's not going to whiff. Uh, the laser scraper 4 ender... Uh, this is meant to be more stable as a wall combo. Uh, four slide three. The collision action when the opponent has been adjusted to mitigate the issue of whiffing as a follow Same thing. Wall ender. One plus two. Same thing as the. A lot of this is like, oh, if the first one hits, the second one whiffs. They don't want that. They want the moves to work at natural combos to work as intended. This is the, the homing two hit string. Used to be forward one plus two. They may change it to one plus two in this game. Four four two. Reduce the distance to the opponent on block. Yep. Your demon paw was nerfed, buddy. Now it gives up your turn. Dang it! My my video about using demon paw as a spacing trap. I should have used electric as the example and not demon paw. Oh well. <laughs> I got some views on that. Now everyone's gonna watch it and be like, it doesn't work. Uh, back one two. This is uh, twelve frame Punisher, right? The tracking ability on the second has been enhanced. Yeah, same thing, making so that it hits. Morning Crow two. Reduce the tracking when using it on opponents performing Saidukemi. That's weird. Uh, I'm guessing that's because he had that cross up, <laughs> the cross up combo. I think they want to not have him have the cross up anymore all right 
Same thing, Dragunov's not really getting buffed or nerfed here. He's getting stabilized. Considering the strength of pressure involving subsequent moves, the move back four had its recovery increase when stopped at a single hit. So back four is going to be worse on block, probably. Because uh, the back four series is really good. Um, a Rage Art. Uh, Universal Change. Heat Smash. Um, has a Downwards Heat uh, hitbox expansion. Because it was like a wall running two. And that has always had kind of a janky hitbox. Hey, the tracking on the second has been adjusted, so if you sidestep the first hit, it doesn't vacuum you in, hopefully. I like that change. Um, uh, the second hit of 4-4 four, four became prone to whiffing on aerial combos, so they reverted the nerf on 4-4. Four, four. That's fair. The hitbox has been expanded downward, alleviating instances of whiffing for down forward 4. Yeah, he needs that. And while running too. He needs more mids that function as mids. As much as I don't like Dragonoff, I played a lot of Dragonoff in 7. And his hitboxes are... They've been mostly the same in, in 8. He's just super strong. But, yeah. Especially with Ling running around in this game, he needs it. Uh, same thing with down 2. Back 4 is now going to be minus 7 on block. And only plus four on hit. That's fair because it's a really good string starter. And QCF3 got buffed because it would whiff. That's the slide, right? It was probably going under hop kicks and whiffing, and, or like not. Um, I don't know. Because normally the problem is that the hurt box is too low and then it avoids the hop kick. With low slides, I don't know why would the low whiff if they weren't in an airborne state. That would a dragon off player maybe if you, if you're a dragon off player and you know what they're talking about here, let me know in the comments below. Oh lord, Eddie! Please tell me they're nerfing Eddie. Eddie is a character who excels at opening up opponent's guard with a series of mid and low attacks, utilizing a rich array of kick techniques and special stances. Some of his moves had low risk, causing an imbalance between risk and reward. So he's getting nerfed. So his back 3-3 three, three, and his wall rising 1-3 have been made more unpunishable. 4-4-3 four, four, possess strong properties. Yeah, no shit. Uh, so it's going to be more unsafe on block. Okay. Down 4-4 four, four has recovery time reduced to provide a safer option. In situations where lower risk is desired. Do any players desire lower risk ever? I'm not sure they do. So, let's see here. They actually gave a special style change? Wow. <laughs> Whatever. Um, the same rage and heat smash changes. So down for four, the following adjustment has made to reduce risk. The recovery time has been decreased by one frame, and the advantage blocks have been changed from minus 13 to minus 12. Decrease the recovery time inflicted by the opponent on hit. It's still minus 12. Is there like pushback on that move? I'm not sure. I'd have to lab it uh, back to four. I'll leave it an issue with a positional blah, blah, blah. Same deal as with making sure the second hit actually hits if you heal in the first hit. Uh, Bananero one, uh, or ban Bananero two three. The tracking ability of the second hit has been enhanced. Y okay, yep, same deal. All right, back three three. Minus fifteen on block. Thank you, Jesus. I'd rather it's sixteen, but I'll take fifteen. I have a mid 15 frame Punisher. I'll take it. Same thing with while standing 1 3, then. They both got the same situation. Wow. Eddie back 3 plus 4. Same power crush change. 
as all the others. High power crushes. I still think they should be jab punishable, but hey, I don't make this game. 443, so it's minus 14 on block. That doesn't help me at all. <laughs> I guess it helps me if I play June. But why can't it be 15, damn it? Ah. That only helps characters with 14 frame punishers. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna have to play June against Eddie. Alright, while standing, a wall rising to mitigate the issue of whiffing when used as a punishment after crouching to evade the opponent's high attack. Yeah, whatever. So, Eddie definitely got nerfed, but not as much as I would have liked. But, uh,. I definitely like the minus 15 on these, like, 13 frame options he has. I wish his low was minus 15, but hey. Just got a counter pick. Alright, Fang. Fang Wei. Fang is, like, arguably the best character in the game right now. So, in addition to stabilizing movement, adjustments were made to some of Fang's techniques, such as 3-3 and up forward 2, uh, which contributed to low risk and passive strategies. Shifting clouds buffed. I like that. I like shifting clouds, and it's not used very much. The somewhat hard to use move, quarter circle forward 1 plus 2 has been adjusted, so uh, heat engages on counter hit. That's, yeah, people weren't using headbutt anymore, so that's cool. So they gave him some nerfs, but they gave him some buffs. Fang players will probably be fine about that. The the pocket fangs will probably, you know, drop him for whoever is going to be the best character, but the real fang players don't care. They just want to play their dude. 3-3. Three, three. Reduced damage. Oh, interesting. I, I guess because 3-3 three, three can go back turn 2 and shit, like... Um. Yeah, he had the homing high power crush. That's right. Well, it wasn't like homing, but it was very tracking. Um. Change the opponent's behavior on block, reducing the distance. Okay. So his his might have already been minus nine, but. Back to three, change the damage. Back three, expand the hurt box. So I guess that's probably a whiff punish thing. You want to be, a, be able to whiff punish it, because that's the new move, I think. Or no, that's the back. No, yeah, that's the new move. Um, wall rising, one, two, one. Some punishers would whiff. Up for two. Reduce the distance to the opponent on block. That's fair. Yeah, up for two is really annoying. <laughs> it's like the side punch. Um, I wonder if that means you can punish it now, because most characters could not punish it in previously. Yep, they buffed headbutt. Back turn two. No longer get aerial combos when using heat dash. Wow. That is a nerf. That's a big nerf. Uh, forward 3 plus 4. Uh, so, making shifting clouds parry more useful. That's what that is. So, yeah, that's uh, they should buff shifting clouds. Increase the damage on Shifting Clouds 2. Frame advantage has been changed from plus 6 to plus 25. Plus 25! <laughs> I thought we were getting rid of situations like this. They keep putting more... They're like, yeah, these situations where like your opponent has an overwhelming advantage. They made Zafina's 1-4 plus 22. Now they made Shifting Clouds 2 plus 25. Alright. Warring. 
Yes, he is known for his powerful rushing kick attacks, combining highs and mids in a relentless offensive sequence. Uh, supplementary elements, such as power crushes and low attacks, have become particularly challenging for many players to counter. Some of these aspects... So they're nerfing his lows and his power crushes? Uh, Huarang's character performance is not excessively high. So we gave him compensatory buffs. So down 3-4 is going to do more damage, but be easier to punish. And they're going to fix his wall standing punishment. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Warring's in a weird place. He's in a really weird place. It seems like they don't know what to do with him either. Down forward, 3-4. This is the power crush. Oh, if you block the second hit, you can actually throw him now, and it's guaranteed. That's cool. And now it's minus uh, 14. That's what it used to be, I think. I think it was minus 14. Good change. Down 3-4. So you can block the down 3-4, punish more easily, and it does more damage now. Oh, that's fair. Down back 4... And a weird little glitch there they fixed where you couldn't sidestep in the foreground. Um, while standing 2 3, they're going to make that more consistent as a Punisher. While standing 3. So they made that do more damage as a Punisher. Uh, oh! Skyrocket was immune to parries? <laughs> On accident? <laughs> That's a funny thing. Um, yeah, Huo, he's more or less in the same space, and it's a weird space. I don't know. I like the nerfs that he got, because they're just annoying things. Whoa, we're scrolling. Oh, because I clicked in there. That's why. Sorry, guys. Didn't mean to make everybody motion sick. We're still on page one. Or are we? I know we're on Jack 8. I don't think we are on page one. Anyway, Jack 8. What are you guys doing to my boy Jack? Well, he's not really my boy. Jack has been primarily adjusted to stabilize his behavior. Um, and they buffed him to compensate for how throws got nerfed, which means, uh, yeah, I can already see all of his throws have extended range. Great. Um, you're going to buff moves that were already good on, at starting offense, like wall standing two, uh, four and gamma howl four. Jack is just going to rush you the frick down in this game. That's what he's going to do. And all of his throws have been extended reach. He, you are not getting away from this robot. He's going to get in your face, and he's going to pressure you, whether you like it or not. Um, so let's see. Up forward three. What did they do to this? The curve has been reduced by 5 frames, so it's now only minus 12 from minus 17. Reduced distance to the opponent. At least you get your 12 frame Punisher. Previously it dealt 6 damage only on close hit, now inflicts 8 recoverable damage regardless of the distance. This move cannot cause a KO. What? This is the weirdest move! Change the jump status from 9 to 24 to 9 what did they... What a weird thing. So it only does recoverable damage. 
and it does not cause a KO. That's so weird. I did not. I wonder if it was like that before, or if that's a new change that it can't kill you. Four four raw running one plus two. Um, opponent's recovery time has been increased, and so now it's plus four. More plus frames for Jack. Like he needed them. Uh, I mean, it's only one frame. His throws we already talked about. He has um, expanded hitbox on his uh, down two and full crotch two. Forward three two. Up back one plus two while standing one. Down back one one. This is all expanded downward hitboxes here. How was down back one? I guess it's the down back one one that that was the the problem. Yeah. Okay. Jin. He is not getting uh, significantly nerfed other than his demon paw. Although I see a lot of down arrows here. Let's let's see what what's what's cooking. The rage art change. Heat smash. You can actually sidestep supposedly that's a good change um when the attack is blocked this is a one two one and up one in zanshin uh oh easier to punish that's a good change four four two reduce the attack hitbox to mitigate the issue of attacks of landing yeah so the Ridiculous Demon Paw hitbox has been mitigated on everyone. I thought we already talked about one. Oh, this is one, two, one, two, one. We already talked about this move. Oh, so that's for combos, they buffed it. Yeah, so Jin didn't really get, he he's still really, really strong. He got like some slap on the nerfs. Slap on the wrist nerfs slap on the nerves so yeah Jin's gonna be really good for the rest of the year there's just no way around that he has other mids like he doesn't need to use like devil Jin really relied on his 442 Jin has plenty of other mids unlike devil Jin so I think he'll be fine devil Jin is actually kind of, kind of a whack place that's a character if, if you want to travel next year, start learning Devil Jin now. Because <laughs> he's probably going to get buffed next year. Uh, June has unique abilities. Yes, she does. She can heal. Um, they said, hey, June players aren't doing less Kazama power moves because we nerfed them. So... Now she has health recovering attacks. Interesting. They keep changing this character so much. So, some of her powerful techniques have been toned down, but enhancements have been made on Genjutsu. Really? Genstance got buffed? I thought Genstance was really good. So, let's see. Uh, rage change, uh, heat smash, uh, genjutsu heat smash specifically. It's only minus 12 now, oh my goodness. And it heals you. Uh, reduced the distance to the opponent on block, that's fair. Yeah, sometimes the second hit would whiff if you land the first hit. That, that's a common problem in this game. 1-2, or 1-1. One, one. On hit, recovery has been changed to restore 2 health. And an additional 2 recovery. It's the same thing with forward 1. Interesting. So you just have healing moves. Same thing, her 1-2-2 uh, two, two heals you, her forward 3-2, and her up 2. And Miari 1 plus 2. So the homing into um, Izuno stance heals you. More health consumption when you do four two one plus two. During the heat state, the health consumption is halved. Okay. 
Uh, decreased damage on down forward to 1 plus 2. That's a fair nerf. That launcher did so much damage. Down back, 1, 1, 1 plus 2. So, it no longer consumes health. It no longer does chip damage on block. On hit, it restores you. It actually heals you for doing your 15 frame Punisher. Interesting. Hmm. That's a really interesting change. She has so many changes. Holy crap. Uh, up forward one. Reduced health consumption. So that's her 10 frame Punisher. You, you do it a lot. So yeah, that makes sense. One second, let me make sure this is not my HVAC guy. Nope. Okay, so let's see here. Wow, there's so many changes for June. Uh, the hop kick. Oh, so if you delay, you can stay in Miare longer and heal more. That's super interesting under Hopkick. That that's crazy. Uh, four, four, two, two. Tornado on aerial hit. So that's a combo thing. Four, four, one plus two. Buffed the damage on it. Jesus. Um, while running three, nerf the damage on it. While crouching, that's a combo change. Because it's a combo ender for after um, heat burst. Full crouch down for two. Has uh, increased scaling. That's fair. That's fair. That moves crazy. At least they didn't get rid of the combo. Sidestep two. Also heals you. I wonder what behavior on a down opponent means. What, what change is, is different. Azuno 1-1 one, one also heals you and no longer consumes health. And then Gen 1. Yeah, they said they were going to buff Genjutsu a lot. Decreased recovery time by one frame only when the move is blocked. So instead of being minus 13, it's minus 12. Okay. Okay. Because, uh, again, one is the... That's just the first hit of it. Right? Because, again... Two. No, I'm thinking of Zuno. What is Gen 1? That's the low. They buffed the low. That is really good. That is super good. Because Kazuya can launch that move, and now he can't. Same thing with Eddie. I just the difference between a minus thirteen and a minus twelve low in general is huge. Um, Genjutsu three two. Uh, no longer results in a continuous block, so I'm guessing it doesn't jail. It's mid mid, but no longer can hit opponents behind you. <laughs> Second attack can now be delayed. So yeah, okay, you can delay it to try to bait him into pressing. And the damage on the second attack has been nerfed to compensate. That's cool. It's still safe. Uh, so Genjutsu 3 down? You can go into Crouch. Oh, neat. No one really used Genjutsu 3, so... Now there's a reason to do it if you want to get your full Crouch on. So you heal... Mm. Oh, you actually heal some actual health on her uh, command parry now. They split it, so you get some recoverable and some... You could actually just heal actual health on some of these moves. That's really, really crazy and very different from any other character in the game. So, interesting. Very interesting. She has a lot of healing now. 
I... People are not going to like fighting her again. They're going to complain, because nobody likes healing in fighting games. It's a very polarizing mechanic. Alright, Kazuya, you need buffs, right? That's what they said. You're getting buffs. I don't know that you actually need them, but you're getting them. Performance changes. So, what does that mean? Significant damage from down forward 1-4. Addressing the high difficulty of counterattacking after blocking or evading. Well, you do an electric. That's Kazuya. You're supposed to do an electric after you sidestep. That's the whole reason you play the care. Okay. Additionally, attacks that use the Devil's Power had poor usability due to high consumption. So he's got... They lower the price of, of Devil Power. Uh, so, 442, you guys weren't using your other mids, so now they nerfed push back on it. And ruined my video about that. Rage change. Uh, reduce the damage on his heat smash. 112. What did they do? Decrease the distance on the first attack so that it's more consistent to land the follow ups. Okay. Devil form. Um, one plus four. So they made that cheaper to do, and it has a reversal break effect. While rising one plus four. I don't even know what that move is. Oh, it's because he couldn't do it before. <laughs> That's why. It's new. It's new. I'm guessing it's just his one plus four, but he can do it from a while standing state but maybe it's a brand new move who knows down for one four so what does he get here it's now unsafe but what is the He gets a free follow-up. We don't know what. It doesn't tell us what the follow-up is, but he's getting a free follow-up on his down 414. And now it's an unsafe move, so it's meant to be a punisher. That's definitely like a buff for like tournament Kazuya, because like that's where maybe you don't want to go for the electric. Down four one, down four two. Same follow-up tracking stuff, hitbox changes that these other strings are getting. Down four, three, two, one. Uh, they've once again tried to buff the hitboxes on this particular string. Down back one, two. The distance has been increased making it more difficult to use heat dash combos with this move on downed opponents. With the first attack of the second strike. That's a very weird phrasing. Is it going to change when you block it? What you can do? I don't know. Back one. Adjusted the collision detection, making it easier to hit. I don't... That, that's very weird. Did you change the hitbox? What the fuck is collision detection? Um, back 2 2 1 plus 2. The hitbox for has been expanded downwards, alleviating instances when the attack would miss in certain situations to stabilize the behavior. And aerial combos. So, they didn't change it on block, they just, they're just changing this for combos. Okay. Forward, forward two, we already know that was nerfed, less pushback. Oh, you can all back to not do the devil form throw on hit as well. That's a good change. Options are always good. While standing two. Wow, I'm surprised it didn't already have a crazy hitbox. Uh, but they buffed the hitbox. They buffed the hitbox of wall standing 1 plus 2. Uh, 
Thunder God Fist in Devil Form now consumes the Heat Timer. Oh no, it already did, but it does it during the throw animation, not during the initial strike. So you only have to pay if it lands. That's good. Crouch Dash 3 does chip damage on block. In Devil Form, it does it during the... Yeah, again, you only pay if it lands, and it's cheaper to land it. And you can cancel the Devil Form attack. They really buffed up Devil Form. That really seems to be like what they want him to be about, is like activating his install and really using it. Um, the double low hell sweep. It's getting a better situation. People don't really use that, and so it doesn't really matter. Crotch dash one plus two. It's like, hey, this is not very effective, so we're going to buff the damage. Oh, it went from minus six to plus five. So this is no longer really a counter hit. They, in fact, they made it not a counter hit launcher. So now it's just a pressure tool and not a counter hit fishing tool. That That's cool. That's a big buff though, because Kazuya getting, if it's like really close up to him at plus five out of wave dash, that's pretty good. All right. King. King, you motherfucker. King excels at using powerful strikes and power crushers as his core fight. That's King's core fighting style? I thought it was throws. What do I know? I thought he was the grappler. So obviously he's been nerfed because the throws were nerfed. So they feel like they need to buff him now. Great. Beast step. Which is forward neutral down. Greatly en enhancing King's mobility, increasing opportunities to initiate throws. Forward forward two is a new move introduced in this game. Now it's going to be a pressure tool. Forward forward neutral two was exceedingly powerful. So it's been nerfed, thank God. That alone. Please tell me I can launch it. They did not nerf the tracking on King's Heat Smash. That's still there. So Beast Step is his Crouch Dash. But it's no longer a Crouch State because he can do it out of Dash. So wait, does he? can he Wave Dash now? Like, like for real, for real? Because before he had like the janky king wave dash that only just Andy could do. I'm really curious if King just has a normal wave dash now. Because that armor king players would love that. Um, forward three during front hit on ground one plus two. The damage was too high. That's fine. Um, forward four. Uh, expanding the hitbox downward because it's the jumping thing. Yeah. So since his throws don't track as well, they gave his buffed his homing move. Down three plus four. Not quite sure what they're doing with the because this is alley kicks, isn't it? 
I don't because alley kicks is a a back turn combo for King. I don't know if it's actually good, but it, it is. I'd have to lab that. Uh, down back three. Change the timing for entering crouch status from 10 frame to 6 frame, so he can high crush earlier. Reduce the distance to the opponent after hitting with an attack and activating heat on down back wall. Okay. Back three. So. The tracking has been reduced. The opponent's recovery time for strike throws has been reduced by 6 frames. He changed to make it to the damage it's too high. When including follow-up attacks. So they're just reducing the damage on it. Okay. Annoying move. Um, that's the power crush that goes into the throw. 442. So the thing they gave him is to make 442 from 0 to plus 7. At least it's not plus 25. 4 4 neutral 2, though. This is the big one. Only plus 5 on hit. So, presumably, that means I can step. Uh, nerf damage on counter hit. Uh, no longer gets a combo on trade, but it's still not any less safe on block. So. Still can't, like, yeah, because it's like minus 13 or minus 12. It's not great. Because it used to be minus 14. It's not. I was really hoping they would make it minus 15 in this game, but I would even take, well, I mean, for my main, it doesn't matter. If it's not launched, I can't do much about it, but minus 14, at least then you could counterpick him. But anyway. Full crouch down forward two. I hate this change. Uh, they made it so you can do it immediately after ducking, so to punish high strings. But that means kings are just gonna duck and do it in neutral even more. Um, court just go back one plus two. Recovery reduced by six frames. All right, Kuma and Panda. Uh, they just got unintended behaviors corrected. So. Standard Rage Art change. Um, hitbox on string changes. Tr tracking on string changes. Uh, downward hitbox expansions. Nothing changing here, just bug fixes. Larso. Again, no balance changes here, just hitbox and. Uh, string tracking adjustments so that stuff works as intended. Nunchucks were nerfed. <laughs> Specifically, the full crouch uh, slide nunchuck has been changed, so you can't loop it. Interesting. Let me just rotate this here. Oh, that's so much easier. Why didn't I do that earlier in this video? Okay, so let's see here. But during heat, it is not nerfed. Okay. Lower the tracking on heat smash. Thank Jesus. Change the opponent's behavior on hit with one plus two. Yeah, so it's not going to flip you for looping Oki. But in heat, he can still do it. Okay, that's fair, I guess. Um, up forward one plus two. That's his throw. Uh, that, that's pretty much it. That's the only real balance change he got was his slide. Was well, slide follow up. Okay. We're still in the L's. We're still in the L's. This is going to be a long ass video. Lee! Hitman up forward four have been decreased, so he can't get his combos off of that. So his damage potential is lower, so the reach of Heat Burst has... Okay, his Heat Burst was ass. He, he can have it above... Hit, like, if Heat Burst is going to be like that, then his can have extended reach. That is fine.
So hitbox change on uh, his rage art. Yep, yep. Hit uh, heat smash is buffed, or heat burst is range is buffed. Um, four two one string change standard. Hitbox hurtbox changes on a number of his moves, including down for one. Uh, looks like his um, I forget the name of the down forward down down forward three kick. Um, it's not legend kick. It's called something else. Misstep three plus four and Hitman four. So that's a good change. Um, I like being able to whiff punish Lee. Down three. Um, was weird at the wall apparently. Um, back one. One. Mitigating the occurrence of whiffing midway through. Okay, that's a change. Standard string changes. Okay, so the game wasn't realizing that he was supposed to be getting free just frames and combos when he's in heat. Back three plus four. So, standard high uh, power crush nerf and a forward one plus two, the input reception. Even from, I don't understand what chain. Are they talking about the follow up attack? I don't know what they're talking about. Um, fixed an issue where the hitbox probably was triggered immediately after innocent. Uh, small. That's a weird... I thought they said they were going to change his um, Hitman up for it for. Where's that change? I don't see it in the actual move thing, but it said that... I guess these other changes are resulted in him not being able to count. I need to ask a Lee player how they're changing this. It doesn't quite add up. Gotta answer this guy real quick. So, Leo, what do they think about Leo? They want to, oh, when they're enhancing the unique appeal of a character, they're making them good. That's that's what that's code for. So, down one is going to be a heat activation move? Wow. But then back four, one, is supposed to be a more effective. Wow, that's a big time change. Uh, they will also want to buff Curtis Ford 1 4 to make it more. The usability has been buffed. What is that? Okay. Well, these changes may not be flashy. They should help expand Leo's offensive. Leo's not flashy. That's why people don't play Leo. Like, Leo's not flashy enough for the casuals, but Leo's also not, like, safe enough for the, the pros. That's Leo's always in this weird in between area. During rage, I think I probably should have like adjusted this a while ago, but I'm gonna just turn my voice down slightly. I'm sorry if it was clipping. So standard stuff, standard stuff. 443 has jump status now. Down one. 
So no longer knocks down on counter hit, but gives the opponent uh, frame advantage plus 13, so you get uh, go into a crouching state and follow up with like while standing for one plus two to get a heat combo activation. Um, 70% scaling has been applied to combos after counter hit. This takes into account the ability to follow up with ground attacks, so resulting in higher overall combo damage. That's a good change, I think, for Leo players. Uh, back for one. Now gets a follow ups on counter hit. We don't know what is that a cow? Is it a launcher? We don't know. Back one plus uh, three, or back two plus three. Uh, oh, they've enhanced the. Well, no, they've made the input window for the punch parry worse. Really? We had to nerf the punch parry? I feel like Leo's punch parry was already kind of finicky to use. At least it was in Tekken 7. I'm, I haven't really messed with it in Tekken 8. While standing 1, 4, 1. Reduced damage. While standing 1 plus 2 is now going to be minus 14 instead of minus 15. That's a change. While the opponent is down, down 3 plus 4. Change the damage by 1. That is just a combo ender thing, I think. Or maybe, maybe because of the down 1 change. Um... Let's see, second hit can now be delayed on these uh, Course of World 1 stuff. Added chip damage. Change the opponent's behavior when blocking the second hit. Of course, we'll go forward 2, 3. Increase the opponent's behavior by some frames. Now it's safe. Okay, that's a lot of... That's definitely usability. You can just throw that out now. Because it's safe and it does stuff. During Fobu. Uh, lower damage. Lower damage. This is probably combo stuff. Um, after parrying, right punch attack. Now, okay, so they did buff the parry to make the, the follow-up actually more consistent. Because that was always the problem, is you'd do it and you wouldn't get the follow-up. A back one succeeds four. Again, um, making it more consistent for the follow-up. Leroy. What is your deal, Leroy? Does not need circum uh, significant changes because he got a bunch of stuff in 1.04, but we have to fix some minor issues. Down forward to 1 plus 2 is a high damage combo starter. It was unstable when hitting from the side. What do you mean, resolved? Is it going to, like, vacuum you in like Julia? That is not a solution. <laughs> Moves like that aren't supposed to be consistent off axis. Oh, my lord. This is the, 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 the two-hit, like, twin piston thing. Like, anyway. Um, forward, 2 plus 3, and down back, 2 plus 3, which uses came, or rarely used. Oh, the cane has been changed to after the first hit of the attack lands. So it's like it's like heat uh, smash, where if it doesn't land, it doesn't get spent. I thought they were going to make it so he could do his cane every round, and I was going to alt F4 this patch note. Uh, so rage change, standard, for 2 plus 3, the cane stuff. Yep, we just talked about that. Down for one, one plus two series. Oh, they actually nerfed the tracking on this string. Down for two, one plus two. Yeah, it's going to realign the opponent. Why? Why? <laughs> this is... Moves like this never did this in older Tekken games. Now they're just like, you know what? We're going to make it realign. Down back three. Expanded hurt box. Back four. Unnatural forward movement. I wonder if that had a lot of cross-ups. Like, over the, like corpse hopping and stuff. Down back two, one plus two. Uh, so if the first, if the first attack hits the grounded opponent, the second... 
one will also hit. Minus 16 on block. And minus 5 on hit. Oh, that's a little bit of a nerf there. Yeah, that's a nerf. The downward hitbox size of the first hit has been increased permanently to stabilize. Yeah, combo stuff for Hermit 1 plus 2. His parry changed the damage. Increased the damage of the parry follow-up. Uh, that accounts for the increased recovery time of while opponent is down, down back to 1 plus 2, which allowed, which prevented further follow-up attacks. So this is on perfect parry. Gotcha, that's the one where he actually gets the follow-ups. Fixed an issue where Leroy would be considered facing away if immediately after a throw escape. Yeah, it's a glitch. All right, Lily. All right, Lily players. Lily has undergone adjustments primarily to balance techniques with outstanding performance. Thank you. The move 1-1 one, one is a versatile combo technique with various strengths. The risk of stepping after the second attack was particularly low. Oh, stopping after the second attack. Made it too dominant. It's been nerfed. Heat Cortis before three was nutty. Yes, it allowed her to loop her offense. She was a vortex character in heat. The piercing thorn stuff, the wall stagger's been removed. Thank you, Jesus. But these moves have been adjusted, so it's not going to push back in mid-screen anymore. Um, let's see. Let's see all the nerfs here. So, Rage Art change. Uh, you buff the tracking of her Heat Smash? This is not a good start here. <laughs> this is not a good start here, Harada. All right. Heat, 1, 2, 4, 4, 4, 3, plus 4. So this is the Piercing Thorns stuff, right? Change the opponent's behavior on block, reducing the distance. Remove the wall stagger. Increase the opponent's recovery on block by three frames. So now it's going to be plus five or plus seven during Feisty Rabbit. So the offensive loop at the wall is gone. But now you get to pressure with it mid-screen. The wall loop was the problem. That was a big problem. So I'd say that's a good nerf. Slow down the pace of exchanges and increase the risk of stopping after the second hit of uh, 113. The following changes have been made. Increase the recovery time of the second hit. Maintain frame advantage on hit for this second attack. Reduce the distance to the opponent on block. Wow, this is a lot of changes. Increase the recovery time of the third attack by four frames. What the? So, the recovery time of the second hit is worse. But they made it so it has the same frame advantage. And they reduce the distance to the opponent on block for the set. So they can't just 1-1-1-1-1-1 one, 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 one is the idea here. They can't just like, 1-1, one, one, am I going to do it? And it was like, yeah. So, we'll see. That's definitely a nerf. We'll see if that's enough. Um, apparently, Heat Dash would sometimes be triggered off 3 plus 4. Even if the conditions were, I don't know what that would be. Uh, forward 3 plus 4, recover time reduced by 5 frames. Because uh, she could get unintended follow-ups. Down three. Nerf damage. Dang. Okay. Coming after her down three. Wall standing one, two. Buffed as a punisher. Sidestep three. Is no longer doing the flip over Oki. Thank Jesus. Sidestep four. Uh, buffed to make more 
comboable um, counter it. Of course, we go forward three. Also changed on the the, the the grounded state. The same problem. The flip over kick shit. Back turn three four. Both the player and opponent's recovery time has been decreased by four. Increase the window for confirming the situation, making it easier to punish. Okay. That's a that's a whatever change. Um, collision detection has been adjusted to alleviate issues. And back turn back three is a glitch fit. So Lily did not get gutted. She gets to keep... They didn't touch Feisty Rabbit. They let her keep that. I thought they would take that thing away. The low is still way too safe. Um, she's still going to be strong, I think. But at least I'm not having to stand there and block the the what whatever it's called piercing thorn attack over and over again or just get vortexed when she's in heat uh it, it's actually crazy that she had all of this for that long um i think she's still going to be a strong character based on all of this but yeah <laughs> Probably going to get a bunch of Lily players being like, you don't know what you're talking about. I actually played a lot of Lily in Tekken 7. She's one of the... In, in all the Tekken games I've played, I've played a lot of Lily. I haven't played her much in 8 yet. I just haven't had time. I should have mained her. I, I should have mained Lily. She was way good at the start of this game. But I picked June. And then I switched to Zafina. That's on me. Nina has undergone adjustments, primarily focused on fixing unintended behaviors, but she has some of those outstanding performance moves. I'm guessing these are her guns that they're nerfing. Blonde Bomb could not be sidestepped. It was very difficult for opponents to deal with in Heat State. So it's hitbox and tracking opponents have been revised. Thank you. Um... Huh. She had a different attack duration on her rage art. To prevent the move from becoming harder to hit upward due to the shorter duration, the attack hitbox has been expanded downward. Okay. Uh, Alright, so gun stuff. Distance from the opponent on block is reduced. The power-up version while intercepting an attack remains insanged. Adjusted the position and size of the attack hurt box. So the problem is like you duck the guns and then you get shot trying to come up and launch her. That was the thing. So that's a that's an annoying thing. That's a quality of life change for everyone else. Doesn't really hurt her that much. Um, forward four jump status is changed to prevent it from being hit by low attacks. Change the timing for entering crouch status off down for 3 plus 4. That's fine. Uh, full crouch down for 3 also has an expanded hurt box. So mostly just the only big change here was the guns. Oh no, it's Paul. They said they were going to buff Paul. A character known for his standard set of moves and powerful mix-up attacks. Yes. He is known for those things. We want to buff the new stuff. Make it easier for Paul to benefit from heat-related mechanics. What do you mean? All his mids are heat engagers. He has a low heat smack. What do you mean? He doesn't benefit from heat-related mechanics. Have you played a Paul player? Harada! Have you played a Paul player? This doesn't make any sense. The distance to the opponent then reduced on successful heat activation with his um, his throw thingy, so that he can go for his low heat smash or his demo man. Hammer of the gods has been made chargeable, and it his charge stuff has been buffed. 
The newly added special movement uh, deep dive can now be transitioned to out of sway. So that's like his double crouch dash. His like delayed crouch dash option. Deep dive. <laughs> He's doing a deep dive on Reddit. That's what Paul's deep diving. <laughs> Paul becomes an anti-vaxxer. All right. What, what do we got to deal with here? Forward two. Start up is faster. Reduce damage. Reduced recovery time on the throw animation. One of the fastest moves that can lead to an aerial combo from Heat Dash. Why does he need that? What? You gave him a 13 frame launcher? Harada! No! <laughs> no! This was going so well! This was going so well! I liked this patch! Forward 4? Increase the recovery time inflicted on the opponent by 3 frames when the move is blocked. Changing it from minus 8 to minus 5. That move's already good. Oh, no. This is bad. Forward 1 plus 2 now does chip damage on block. You can now make it enhance the hammer of the gods with a hold input. Oh, my God. And then it's going to guard break you. He's going to guard break you with his chip damaging plus on block mid. I need some coffee. Hold on. Alright, they're nerfing his high power crush. That's a universal change. Up back two. More likely to hit point. I thought that move had... Uh, really good track. Maybe it doesn't in this game. Um, up forward to change the opponent's behavior on block, reducing the distance to the opponent, and buffing the damage. Oh my! Four forward four. The opponent's recovery time when blocking has been reduced by three frames, so it's now plus two instead of minus one. Oh my god! This is like everything is a buff. It's just buff, buff, buff. The frame advantage on block has been changed from minus 10 to minus 9. So they made that while running too safe. Now does chip damage. Limited the condition of his transition to a strike throw to airborne hits only. So he can't just land it to get the airborne, to get the throw thing. Wait a minute. On counter hit? You get follow-up attacks. Okay, well, that's an okay change. But some of these other changes are just like, why? Wall standing three is now plus six on hit. So he can use it as a poke. Great. Reduce distance to the opponent on uh, death fist and rubber band attack when activating heat. So he can demo man you. Great. Um, deep dive. I mean, they can buff deep dive. Or just change deep dive. But, like, Jesus. These changes. Uh, down forward to one. Increase startup. Reduce damage. Gets follow-up attacks. Oh, that's... I don't care about that. That's fine. Uh, the low... Gets 18 damage is a chunky low, but I mean, if you're going for a delayed low out of your crouch dash, I think that's fine. I think that one's the low. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the low. And then he can do sway... Into deep dive. Oh my god. Paul, you you were definitely a contender for most improved. W why? 
What was wrong with Paul? Raven? So they want to enhance the appeal of back turn. Um, his full crouch down forward three could be executed with down down forward three. Making it easier to transition into back turn stance. Does that mean you can do it out of full crouch now? Because you could already do down, down, forward three, and you could. It would. Da he would do a dash, like a sliding dash at you and get it. The improved performance of back facing opponent forward three increases pressure on opponents by deterring their actions. Against defensive opponents, the low move back facing opponent forward four, which is suitable for pokes, has become more effective. Okay, well, this doesn't seem as scary as the Paul buffs, but let's see what happens here. Ray change, all right, heat. Um, made it so that it, it actually hits when it hits. Raven's always had, like, anytime he's got special animations, like Master Raven's Rage Art, uh, Master Raven's... Uh, Rage Drive, now Raven's Heat Smash. They're always inconsistent. This character just has weird animations. All right, three slide four is in jump status. He was already airborne, so it's weird that he didn't have jump status on it. Because you could... Moves that tailspin airborne will tailspin that move. Well, only if he teleports, though. So I wonder if you can tailspin him... Well, he'll probably just land at the end of the move, like a hop kick. Uh, four slide three, four. Expanded the attack box, or the hit, attack hitbox. So for combo stuff, forward one plus two, hitbox buff. That move's safe, too. Also back turn two. Down back to one. Yeah, that down back to one is head bad hitbox forever he could already do aqua spider by crouch dashing into it so maybe he can just do it without crouch dashing now but it's the same input down down four three and maybe you can just frame it I, I don't know I'm really curious about the aqua spider change that's also a hilarious name for a move um I should have made my tag Aqua Spider. <laughs> Raven uh, increased his forward movement on Aqua Spider too, huh? Changes to reduce the distance uh, considering the low risk when the attack is blocked, so less pushback. Because it's, it's a long, it's like minus fifteen, so. Back turn, forward three, expanded the hitbox downward. Yeah, because his mids and back turn are kind of always been bad. In terms of like their hitboxes. Plus six now, you can transition in to back turn from zero to plus three. He gets follow up attacks and counter hit. Yeah, this is more like, I can see that bug getting buffed. This isn't actually too bad. They didn't make Raven too crazy. Uh, 4 for 4. Increased recovery time. From plus 2 to plus 4 on hit. So... Maybe it's just because I'm looking at these right after Paul, but Raven's buffs seem fairly tame. Like, just some new things to try out. Okay, Reyna, we're really just getting the triple back-to-back -back here. Uh. 
Let's see here. Reyna. What is your balance direction, Reyna? She has undergone performance adjustments. Focusing on moves with outstanding performance. Yeah, I... You could say that. So, Raiden 442 has been adjusted to make it easier to evade with sidesteps in both directions. <laughs> Fixing its previous tendency to hit opponents moving to the left. Yeah, where, the way you're supposed to step against Reyna. The Manjigiri series of moves had very high evasive properties despite their higher strong hit. Their hurt box has been enlarged. Okay. The damage of when opponent is down, down three. Uh... Or down 4-1. Has been reduced to uh, lower her combo damage. Do the chain and opponent behavior when performing a heat dash after down 4-1-2. Down 4-1 can be uh, used after that. Okay. 1-1. One, one. Reduced distance. Same change Kazi got. So all of her fucking evasive flip around shit has expanded her box and removed crouching status. So no longer a high crush. That is surprising. I'm surprised they did that change. Um, I don't mind it. It's just very surprising. Forward one plus two, three. Uh, down forward. Oh, down forward one two. Hitbox has been adjusted to alleviate instances of hitting targets from areas other than the front. Oh, okay. Four four two. Adjusted the size of the attack hitbox to make it less likely to hit opponents moving to Reyna's right side. So you're supposed to sidestep this left. I didn't even use to try to sidestep this thing. It was like a joke. Down 4-1. We just talked about that. Sentai 1-2. The second hit is considered part of the power crush. So you can throw punish that now. Um, but it's minus 16. So why would you? Sentai 3. The move is incorrectly set as immune to attack reversals. Really? Because it was... Isn't it airborne? Well, apparently it's not supposed to be immune to attack reversals. Sentai 3 plus 4. They really just slapped her on the wrist here. The big nerf is honestly the evasion, evasion nerf on her charge move, her charge kick. Oh, she had a lot of them. And, and then the fact 4 for 2, you can sidestep now, supposedly. So we'll see how easy it is to sidestep when we actually get the game, but... Shaheen. He got nerfed? Wow. Don't win combo breaker <laughs> with a with a character that's not popular. I mean Shaheen shows up in top eights. But so do a lot of characters. Did AK got his man nerfed. So Allowed for repeatedly creating situations for one-sided offense. The behavior of self steps two when hitting opponent. Okay, it's the slide loop. That's what they're getting rid of, is the slide vortex. And then they buffed forward two three. So after successfully landing this move as a punish or in a ground combo, opportunities to use slide have been increased. Okay. So he gets Oki on 4, 2, 3. Rage hitbox expanded. Back 3 plus 4, 4, 3 plus 4. 
Um, oh! That is actually a glitch. That unintended moves can come out when doing 3 plus 4 inputs. Okay. I'm not crazy. Plus 20 on hit. That's one way to give you Oki. <laughs> So, man, they're doing a lot of, like, this is the third thing that's plus 20 or more in the last two patches, where it's like, if you get this, you get a mix-up here. Zafina has it. Shaheen has it. Who was the other character that had it? It wasn't Paul. It was somebody weird, like Kazia or something. I've already forgotten. I've looked at too many of these. Shaheen, uh, the tracking of the second hit, okay, standard string changes, down four, better collision detection to make it easier to punish, back two, the angle at which throws can be executed. They buffed back two, that's a good buff. Um, his high power crush is nerfed, up forward one. Hitbox buff. Slide. Hitbox buff. But also adjusted the distance to the opponent on hit. So that he can't loop it. I guess that's the only really thing they were worried about was Shaheen's vortex. <laughs> they didn't want the slide characters to be vortex characters. Increase the opponent's wall stun on by two frames on uh, up the charge thing. Improve offensive opportunities when not near a wall. So it doesn't wall stagger anymore. But it's plus four instead of plus two. Yeah, because no one really goes for that unless they're in heat. Because you could just slide if you're doing that, mostly. But you can also charge it during string. Like, you can do pressure and charge it out of the... Uh, if you do like down for one, down for one, you're still charging it. So that's interesting. Uh, fix this so you can block and still stop. The behavior on landing a down hit has been modified. I gotta scroll up. So same thing. Steve. Uh, more Lionheart buffs. They said, hey, y'all are not using Lionheart enough. This is what we want you to do, is do more Lionheart. Wall Rising 1 plus 2 is a new option in the startup of wall crouching, full crouch down for 2. So he's got counterattacks and full crouch now. So you can do uh, Sonic Fang from a wall standing. So instead of just doing wall rising 1, 2 as your punisher, you can do Sonic Fang. So you can duck and Sonic Fang. That kind of makes wall standing 1, 2 like a little bit of a not... Like it's redundant now, right? Um, that's a weird change, because, like, Wall Standing 1-2 kind of is Sonic Fang. It has, like, a very similar animation. Um. So, Full Crouch Down for 2 is now a 16-frame startup. Peekaboo, Down for 1-2, Unintended Behavior. Where's the Lionheart changes? Here they are. The opponent's behavior on block has been changed. Opponent's recovery time has been increased by 5 frames. The advantage on block has been changed from minus 9 to minus 4. That's a buff. Chip damage from Lionheart 1 plus 2 and as a reversal break. So you can't just parry Lionheart now. It, it, it beats a 
parries and power crush. So you actually do have to... Because before, if you had a good parry, you did not have to deal with Lionheart at all. Because you could punch parry the whole stance. That's a big change for Lionheart, yeah. For all Lionheart transition moves, you can hold back to go to a standing position. So you don't have to go to Lionheart. Expands the freedom of playstyle. Some nice stuff for Steve. <laughs> An easy to use character known for his powerful offense with while running too. And his extremely long range power crush which provides strong defense. <laughs> Leading to a more uniform playstyle. <laughs> Shade thrown at online Victor players. So stance stuff is better, and the moves everyone spams have been made worse. You can now go into uh, II stance on hitter block off forward three two. That's a new move. He didn't have that extension before. Forward 3 2, 3 plus 4, or forward 3 2 down. Um, Victor! Forward 3. Uh, oh, they enhanced. They added a punch parry on forward 3. They expanded the hurt box upwards to increase the unintended blade to invade. They can no longer escape throws. Weird. Because it's a parry. Um, down forward, 1-1. One, one. The distance is going to have been reduced when the first hit connects in order to alleviate whiffing midway through. Okay, standard stuff. Make it easier for the counterattack on down forward 2. Increased the recovery time on by 3 frames. But it, does it change the frame date on block? It doesn't look like it does. Because also the opponent's recovery time is 3 frames. Just more time to confirm... Uh, expanded hurt box on its course for two and some other stuff. Back one one or back one two. Uh, hit box stuff or distance stuff changed. Enhanced performing while maintaining the combo content on counter hit. Recovery time reduced by three. So they're buffing back two. Now deals five recoverable damage. Cannot cause a KO. It, interesting. Back two was already really good. But now it is 90% uh, scaling. Um, so it's definitely going to... You're going to see more use of that. All right. The power crush. Same power crush changes as everyone else. It's, although this one is going to 20 frames from 15 frames. That's good. And less range. And less forward movement. And less tracking. He got every... Every nerf you could get, he got. Up 1 plus 2 tracking. Reduced. That's healthy. More heat consumption on up 1 plus 2 in heat. Uh, tracking reduced. Yeah, just hella, hella tracking reduced. Um, forward, forward, two. Distance from the opponent on block has been reduced. So that's unsafe as well, so that's easier to punish. While running, two. Gets the new transition that other moves got. All right, less damage on while running, two. Slower. Behavior on hit has been changed. It's still knocked down. Decrease the recovery time by three frames when it's blocked. Only plus two. Yes. Increasing the distance. Yes. 
It, this was a powerful play style that overshadowed the use of all his other moves. Uh, now he's got some stance stuff. This is what they're giving him to make up for it. Reduce recovery time of Perfumer 1. Maintain frame advantage on hit. Uh, it's now going to be minus 12. On hit, it's the same. And on counter hit, plus 14. Does that mean... I think... can't remember if he gets guaranteed follow-ups or not. I'd have to test that. Back four during Perfumer... Does chip damage. Does more damage. Uh, only minus two on block. Perfumer one plus two. Increase the recovery time inflicted on the opponent by two frames. So go from plus four to plus six. And less distance. They really just want you to use these other moves. <laughs> they're like, you guys, anytime like they're looking at the replays. And they're like, y'all are not using these moves, they're going to buff those moves. New command for warping closer with up one from, or up from II, uh, two and one plus two. Altered the behavior of the opponent on counter hit to allow for follow-ups. Doesn't sound like a juggle. Uh, three, two and II. Reduced damage, but gets the strong aerial tailspin yep a lot of characters are getting those and down to uh is now gonna be plus four on block okay oh Xiao Yu. not subject to balance adjustments i don't know about that one chief hitbox expanded Adjusted the position of hitbox during wall combos. AOP 3 plus 4. Certain attacks with whiff. Yeah. Nothing really here. So they said Zhao Yu's fine. Yoshimitsu though. Yoshimitsu experienced performance nerfs in 1.02. Certain aspects were at odds with the overall game concept. Interesting. Previous updates did not introduce new elements to enhance his appeal. Are you guys buffing Yoshi? They want to buff Indian Stance to broaden his... I feel like his gameplay is pretty broad. You reduced the heat consumption on his moves? Wow, Yoshi players. Y'all dodged a bullet. You got buffed. He's already good. And you got buffs. Oh my god, I can imagine the party happening in the Yoshi Discord right now. God knows what Yoshimitsu players drink to celebrate. Gasoline and bleach, probably. Um, Alright, so rage changes. Heat. Doesn't whiff if it hits. Back to two. Uh, enhanced collision detection. The heat dash transition can be triggered even if the second hit whiffed. So it's technically a buff. Or uh, technically a nerf, rather. Um, down, that's really just a bug fix, though. Down 3 plus 4. So you can buffer inputs for moves when transitioning to Indian Stance. So you can do it from Crouch, you can do it from Monty Dragonfly, and you can buffer it. Made the timing to execute moves from down 3 plus 4. One frame faster. So you can act sooner... Added a new command for transitioning into Indian Stance after 
down forward four, interesting. And uh, Indian Stance healing four can also go back into it. Back facing opponent, down one. Input glitch. Um, Kincho forward one and forward one hold. Tracking ability has been improved. Hitbox enhanced. Does not track the opponent when it whiffed. Interesting. Kincho down one. Made it possible to transition to a crouching state by inputting during Kincho down one down back. Fix an issue where attempting to perform back facing opponent one from back facing opponent down one and me that to the step. Yeah, weird input uh, things. Monty Dragonfly one. The damage of the standard version has been changed from 15 to 25. Wow. That's a buff. That's, we actually got a real buff here, not just like weird glitch fixes. The damage during heat has been changed from 20 to 26. And the consumption has been changed from 180 to 90. Halved. And tracking enhanced. Well, that's a nice one. Um, forward one plus two also got the price halved. So his dragonfly heat stuff is better. Indian stance healing to the. What is the difference between Indian meditation stance and Indian stance healing? I think they're the same thing. Um, the forward movement has been increased. Extend the range of the attack. The hitbox been expanded downward. Yeah, whatever. And Indian Stance 3 plus 4 is a homing attack. Wow. I mean, if I'm a Yoshi player, I would just be happy we didn't get nerfed. But the fact that you actually got some nice buffs to his Dragonfly Heat stuff and some new shit with the Indian Stance, I mean, who knows? They'll figure out something to do with the Indian Meditation Stance. But, uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, and you're not going to have to worry about nerfs for a whole rest of this year. No, not till the end of the season here, which will probably be, you know, after next Christmas. So, you, you got a year, Yoshi players. Speaking of people who got a year, us Zafina players, she didn't get nerfed at all. So, that's really good for Zafina here. Just the fact that, like, she has plus 22 into mix-up off of a jab punish. She has a plus 8, basically an electric, into tarantula. Like, her tarantula transitions are super oppressive. Um, but I guess we get to keep that as Zafina players, because... <laughs> she didn't fit with Tekken 8, so we were given oppressive things. Um, cool. So... Down forward for one, could swap positions, the camera glitch fix. Wall standing one, two actually has some interesting changes. So, the second hit will launch the opponent into the air. Um, which I think it always, it, the second hit is a launcher by itself, but it's a nat, wall standing one, two is a natural combo twin piston, but this is one of those things where like when you would land it at the wall, they'd be in this weird spin state and you couldn't always, uh, get a consistent follow up. This happened to me in tournament against cage neon. Um, and he ended up dying from it hilariously. But yeah, this definitely does happen. Um, so they lowered the damage on the first hit and the second hit. Probably because they're going to be higher. So you can probably more consistently land 442 as a uh, combo extender. You could do it before, but it was just hard. So, it sounds like they're just going to try to keep her combo damage off while standing 1 2 the same, which is fine. And then Scarecrow 3 um, 
change behavior when hitting a crouching opponent to match behavior when hitting a standing opponent. I wasn't aware of this problem, but um, the second hit could whiff in certain situations on crouch. I don't send the second hit. So, I really only use Scarecrow 3 as a, a combo tool. Um... But yeah, that's that's the patch notes. Um, the only thing I disapprove of is Paul. That's really the only thing. I mean, some of the characters that didn't get nerfed that I thought maybe could have got nerfed. It's whatever. We can just play the game. Um, Paul got a lot of shit. And I feel like he was already good. And I kind of wonder if it's just... He's not... The top players outside of the likes of Joseph Furious have not been uh, gravitating to Paul. And, you know, sometimes when a character doesn't show up in tournament, that's reason enough to get some buffs. I'll tell you what, you know who's having a real party right now is uh, Mr. Fury. Shout out to Joey. Uh, you know, the, the, a buff for Paul is a buff for America. So, you know, we there are a lot of good Paul players over here. Um, it's going to be a mess. I'm, they're going to have to fight so many Pauls in these online tournaments. Anyway, this is a long video. Uh, overall, I think it's a decent direction to the pat, to the, to the balancing of this game. I think that they addressed heat burst. They addressed stuff that tracks that just felt like it shouldn't track. And they addressed a lot of the moves that people spam excessively. And they didn't really gut anybody. Nobody got gutted. Uh, they let the characters who got buffs got to keep the buffs. June got probably the most e extensive changes. That character has been almost completely redesigned since the beginning of the game. So she'll be fun to mess with and see how she works now. I actually thought she was good before, so I think she's in a really good place now. Zafina, I think, is in a really good place. I think most characters in this game are in a pretty good place. Bears, I think, are in a good place. At least Kuma is. Panda, I don't really know. I wouldn't play Panda. I would just play Kuma. But maybe the the balance with Panda will be they just give Panda the electric. And that's that's what they do. But hey, that's a question for next year. Uh, I'm excited to actually try this out and and um, and play play some of this new stuff. So, if you guys watched, if you made it this far, subscribe, like the video, leave a comment. If you have a question about any of the changes, I'll try to answer them throughout the next couple of days. If anyone who comments, I'll do my best. Um, take it easy, everybody.